Hi, please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best analysis on politics, crime, security, and historical facts. Let us go straight to Nigeria to look at how more than 12 Nigerian soldiers were brutally killed in an ambush in Niger State. Nigeria Army has confirmed that several soldiers were killed in an ambush by bandits in Kundu, a community near Zungeru in Niger State. This was confirmed by the Army spokesperson, Onyema Nwachuku, but he did not give the exact number of those who were killed in the attack. To some of us observers, we know very well that this is just a communication tactics, not to cause fear and panic among the soldiers. But it was reported that more than 12 of the soldiers died instantly, while others sustained various degrees of injuries and receiving treatment in various hospitals in the country. It was further guarded that many residents of the community were also abducted by the bandits who also took away cattle and other animals. In fact, this is not the first time this incident is happening in Nigeria. It's becoming so common and rampant in Nigeria that soldiers are being ambushed indiscriminately. And could it be that the soldiers themselves are not being trained well? Or is it that they play a lot when they get to the field? Because there are all manner of pictures and videos of them misbehaving in the streets of Nigeria. At any time that there is a news about Nigeria soldiers, it's either they've been killed, arrested, tortured, or been kidnapped all over the place and by these notorious guys that need to be dealt with. So something great and serious needs to be done by the Nigeria army to avoid these incidents from happening because once these things continue, it seems to embolden the criminals out there. So a lot needed to be done. Because these incidents have been going on in Nigeria for many years. And the casualty level is increasing by the day. But sadly, not much is done in terms of recruitment for the soldiers to protect and defend themselves in times like this. They were described by the army spokesperson as courageous to the end, and they stood their grounds and defended their country with their lives. But the question is, how many of your soldiers need to die, this kind of death, before you wake up to resolve this issue of ambush on soldiers and kidnapping of vulnerable civilians. And this incident occurred at a time that the Chief of Army Staff, General Lagbaja, is even on an operational tour of the Northwest Operation Theater for on the spot assessment and re immigration of ongoing operations. General Lagbaja, very great general that fought so hard and defended his country in the past, and more is needed from him at this time that he is now the chief of the army staff. It was also reported that General Lagbaja has traveled to the exact affected location to encourage the troops. This is not a surprise at all because he's a very great general, but more needed to be done as he was taken over as the chief of army staff. In fact, morale is low. As you see your brothers falling day in, day out, and the next thing going through your mind is, will I be the next? Now he is on a tour, well protected and guarded. What report is he taking back? And what will he do for the safety of his men? That is a question on the lips of a lot of people. The normal mantra will be, they joined the military to die for their country. And they died in the name of their country. But the question is, must it always be a needless death? Well, please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best analysis on politics, crime, security, and historical facts. Kindly like and comment. Thank you so much.